Dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. In today's video, I would like to emphasize on digital transformation. I know this is an off topic from our main focus of data analytics, data engineering or data architects. But I believe that everybody has a big role to play in digital transformation. So we would like to see how digital transformation takes place in organizations and what were the context they go for digital transformation and what are the ways, what are the means they adopt to implement their digital transformation and also what is the after effect or impact of big digital transformation. We normally see how digital transformation happened in banking system. Now we used to go to bank for everything but nowadays we hardly go to banks unless it is necessary we are able to manage our banking system using online banking and we know the payment system we hardly use the hard notes we have various payment systems right so there are a lot of di disruptive transformation happened around us and it is happening so we would like to Take a use case of one of the organization how they were forced to move into a digital transformation and what value added to them and how they implemented that what were the impact in the organization and in the community so let's look into that specific case today so welcome back here is a story of Domino's, a company very close to our heart, a story of their successful digital transformation. It's an ultimate model for delivering customer value in the digital age. And I will be focusing on the areas they have digitalized in their business model, the new values the digital technologies created for them and various stages in their transformation journey. And I would like to start with what is the digital? You know, many of us or many a time confused about the idea of a digital transformation because the definition of digital has evolved over years. And initially, it was just moving from paper to digital or online. Could be any form other than paper forms. Then it became going to mobile. Everybody has started buying mobile and uh, going to mobile was other stages of a digitalization. Then going to cloud, going to have better customer experience was focused. Then you see later it was followed by AI and ML, artificial intelligence, machine learning. And now we talk about AR, VR, Metaverse, and Generative AI. You know, every company, every business is now a digital business. And thus, the digital strategy and digital plan, digital transmission, they are all business as usual. Everyone talks about digital plan, their digital strategy, and their digital transformation activities. And every company could see a digital transformation lead. And this is the major focus of organization in this century. And maybe I can ask, what exactly is digital doing? It is reimagining the entire enterprise by looking how can various parts of the value chain be enhanced by moving to digital. Okay, the, as I said, digital is anything. Like It can be adopting technology, it can be building innovations and many of many things can be part of this. Uh, moving to digital, can you name some of the companies which has done digital transformation and you will of course say Facebook, maybe Amazon, you will also say Google, Microsoft, Lego, Ikea and look at some of the statistics. Some of the statistics shows there is companies other than this made bigger leaps and one was Domino's Pizza. So if you look at the history, you know, 
in 2009 domino's pizza ranked last in the consumer taste survey and it was the verge of closing and the share price was also very down but happened because of the digital transformation initiated by the company and you know it has become one of the largest pizza you know there was a competition between pizza hut and domino's pizza right so the domino's is the largest pizza company in the world based on the global retail sales with more than 17600 locations over 90 markets around the world as on 2021 and you know they have a story of a traditional company adopting digital transformation very passionately and they could make it it has a company with a strong purpose a company with a digital strategy you know we can divide the digital transformation how by lead with the innovation leverage global scale and drive super returns lead with innovation leverage global scale and drive super returns we will see what made them so if look at their model business model you know how they reimagined how they reimagined their traditional way you know every business model we have the key partners and key activities and there is a value proposition and you know there is a customer relationship and customer segments and you know we have key resources they are part of their model and also the cost structure and the revenue streams right so where what are our core partners who are our key activities what is the value proposition so in the case of dominos you know they concentrated in a traditional way they concentrated on tradi- local store they were simply running the pizza stores and you know the value proposition they were just delivering pizza and they were focusing on local population and the resources they depended was on manpower and you know they had to have big investment because they were owning these pizza outlets entirely and also you know every revenue was coming from their pizza sales but they reimagined and what happened you know they made a deceptive model like they reimagined their partnership they went for global franchises they made their own supply chain they depended on third party vendors for their inputs and they made created communities they made team members and you know their key activities were no more running pizza they build franchises managing supply chains they reach franchises with their food and equipments they made the it support so then they are no more depending on just a pizza running store and you know uh, their key resources were not only manpower they they made technology support and in the key value proposition they had a product innovation the convenient delivery models quality food at a competitive price now you already said like 30 minutes or free like they had a strong effect impact full slogans and the customer relationship they made enable uh, technology enablers internet and social media enable devices and platforms and membership and reward system and community activities and they not only uh, dependent on the local population they made global population and you know as uh, several new innovative channels and coming to the cost center so they went for franchises so they had limited investment in franchise and you know uh, the revenue they came from sharing royalties Uh, then fees to franchise selling food equipment and supplies and through domino supply chain and branded brand name of course and the data also was sources of revenue so the reimagining the business model made a lot of impact on the dominos what were their focus during this digital transformation they were like creating a digital platform for their customers then digitalizing its operations then creating a digital enterprise for franchises so you know 
So these were their focus areas. Then now let, let's look at what is each focus area they did. So coming to the one brand, two products. Okay. So Domino's, a one brand and two products company, home delivery and carry out. Business focused on customer centricity, franchise model, technology innovation and product innovation and various initiatives were launched under each category. So one under this brand, they have customer centricity programs. You know, they made a little, lot of uh, reward royalty program, order status and food quality tracker, opportunity using order tracer app, then fast delivery offer like 30 minutes or free like that. Then they have franchise model. So international franchises and international master franchise. Then supply chain model by offering convenient and cost effective products. Then Domino's plus function to drive operating efficiencies. Then technology innovation. Domino's developed and served innovative ordering platforms and support order anywhere. So Domino did partnership with Neurofunction Autonomous Pizza Delivery. Then Domino's Tracker App. GPS integration, Domino's, then cast set delivery. So finally, the product innovation, like core hand lost pizza receipt has contributed to long-term growth in customer reorder re rates, then consumer traffic, and increased sales. During 2020, Domino's launched three new products in the US, and master franchises have the ability to recommend products to suit their local market. Taste. So, it's a tremendous change in their customer centricity, then franchise model, technology innovation, and product innovation. Then all this led to new strategies, reduced cost, new customer values, market expansion, company growth, and revenue growth, and emerge of a global brand, and so on. So, the whole digital transformation made big impact on the whole organization. Now let's look how the building a digital platform helped them. Like, so lead with innovation. So we had lead with the technology. They introduced a technology to support their transformation. Then a lot of services. So technology and service. Then coming the Leading with the products and values, new products, innovative products, and leading with image, like brand values. Like so, so, so we know that leading with innovation included technology, new products, then franchise model and leading with image, and coming to leveraging the global scale. So they were no more a locally focused. They leverage global scale as well as the leveraging local sale. So both global sale scale and the local uh, leveraging the local scale made them big impact. Then, you know, leveraging our scale with the network of strong international master franchises. So Domino's Pizza Enterprise Limited. Then Jubilant Foodworks Limited. Domino's Pizza Group PLC. So many global network of international master franchises really help them grow, right? See, all this impacted on a return. It has driven superior return through such a proven formula. And if you look at the growth graph, you will see from 6 billion from 2010 to 17 billion at 2021. See, all this attribute to the digital transformation. So to conclude, when we comment on a digital transformation, we often point to the success of digital natives like Uber, Airbnb or latest unicorn. However, Domino's Pizza provides a company example of a company in a traditional sector that has undertaken significant technology driven transformation. The success of Domino's shows that it is not only the digital natives who can disrupt their sector and create extraordinary value. So what the CEO Patrick Dolly says, in a lot of ways we are really a technology company. We have adopted the art of pizza making 
to the digital age. Hope you understand how uh, a company, a traditional company like uh, Domino's became number one adopting technology. Thank you for watching.